Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final season 54, the Money Cup, sponsored by DLA Piper, loads of prize money on the line. We have got I Ravel with his Chaos Dwarves, and what an insane Chaos Dwarf team this is. Three full Claw Pommers, two with Guard, some Guard Stand for Mighty Blow, incredible core of Chaos Dwarf blockers. Um, pretty decent Bulls as well. Bulls are pretty decent. Got a move up sure hands carrier. Uh, four reserves. A pretty amazing Iravel team. Uh, meanwhile, Kill Bill has a human team that looks alright. No human teams really look amazing, do they? Um, but you know, he's got Kill Bill's look. And that's probably gonna be the most important thing for his human team. Is his look. But uh let's let's see. <laughs> <laughs> if luck can beat skill. Not saying that Ein Ruffle is more skilled as a coach than Kill Bill, but you know, his players are much more skilled, right? The, the, the Chaos Dwarf players are much more skilled than the human players. Doing this with the uh, with a quick snap, I always like to do that, chain a guy in for an extra hit. Of course, absolutely no reward, as usually happens uh, when I do it as well, so that's good to know that I'm not the only one, that the good players aren't rewarded. Good. The human team would be good of over there. He's got a jump up tackle pommer, like that's really good against the elf type teams, obviously, which chorfs aren't. And uh, this one's also pretty good. Like so he's got two pretty good blitzes against elves. This one's decent against bash, right? Blodge can be hard to remove, not against chorfs. So, so basically, three of his four blitzes aren't good against chorfs. <laughs> it's uh, and he's got a wizard. A bribe and a babe and an apple. So he's down a bunch of TV, but he must be, have faith in how good his team is because he hasn't like chosen to put points on the pitch, right? He's got 350, 400 inducements that aren't on the pitch. Yeah, 400 inducements. He could have had like, you know, um, Griff or anything. But he's chosen to have all of this other stuff instead. Super interesting. Instant greed hit. That's one thing I'm not doing in my Blood Bowl 3 thing. Oh, it's because I've only got one reroll on my team. Okay. <laughs> I know Griffsug seems less good against Clawpon, but it's just interesting that, you know, he still hasn't taken it, right? Like, at the end of the day. Um, like, his team is crap, basically, compared to this, this team. So just because your good players might get removed to claw palm, I don't think that's really good reason to just go, oh, well, I'll just have really, really terrible players. But he's sticking with his really terrible players. The dicey got the kick. Very good. <laughs> I mean, it. To be fair, it isn't aware, right? Like that's what I. That's what I find against Necro, with claw pom teams. It's just super annoying because, like, you don't want to pile on the zombies, right? And they don't care if they lose the zombies, and they've got regen for them as well. So, like, there is some truth to to having no good players as a counter. <laughs> This is the semis, El. This is the semis. We'll find out who's joining. Uh, I guess this is a spoiler because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the other semi before the final anyway. So the other final was won by Sparky's Chaos Dwarves against Daedalquist's Normal Dwarves, regular dwarves. So we could have a Chaos. Oh my God, we could have an all Chaos Dwarf final, but we're definitely gonna have an Apple there. Yep, yeah. instant Apple. What? Um. Uh, I Ravel, you seem to your brain seems to have mis misfunctioned here. Uh, never mind. <laughs> it was a badly hurt. 
Was it badly hurt? Oh dear. Maybe it was a misclick. That's the only that's the only thing that makes any sense. Because while he's favoured to win this match, you've still got to win it. <laughs> you have to win it. <laughs> you can't think, oh, they might, I might get a miss next game. It doesn't matter how confident you are that you beat this human team. Like, the chance of you taking a miss next that, that will impact you more in the next game is not as much as that badly hurt is going to affect you this game. Like, it's just not. So much of your match equity is wrapped up in the current game. That's, um... I mean, you must be confident. Like, that is that has to be... That has to be the, the reasoning if it wasn't a misclick. It was just he's confident he's going to win, but, like, it's an, it's an insane thing if it was. <laughs> Like, I'd be quite confident I was going to win if I was the Chuffs. Because I would have appled that bull. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm shocked. But yeah, he could, have, he could have been AFK, right? And just missed it. Could have been AFK and missed it. That's a possibility. Could have missed it. Or he really could have he really could have never ever seen any Kill Bill game ever before. And thought he's not gonna cast anybody else. <laughs> They've got a wizard, right? They wanna keep them a bit honest. It's worth keeping them a bit honest because you you've got the wizard. And uh like dwarves are slow and like this is good, right? He's 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 got three off here, he split the team, like totally split the team, three off here. This guy tagged, this is good defence. Good defence from Kill Bill. To be fair. Playing much better than Iron Revel so far. Because Iron Revel didn't apple that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, maybe it is. Maybe he just thinks he doesn't want to apple the badly hurt because... Oh, my God, here comes the fireball. Oh, it was not lucky. I don't hate the fireball there. What? I might have been tempted to fireball these, though, right? Could have fireballed these. Then you're looking to get these as well. And then just really just smash into them and, like, you know, win, win the war of attrition, if you like. I wouldn't have hated going one, one over for the fireball. But, uh... I think Fireball there was totally fine. Like, you know, Kill Bill realises it behind he's got to get pretty lucky. It's not, um... It's not like he's favoured, right? Even though he's removed that bulge and he's taken nothing. He's taken nothing on this drive. And he's removed that bulge, so he has got unbelievably lucky so far. But, um... I can see him thinking, you know, still he's got to get lucky. And you probably still just have to get a bit lucky. But maybe not as lucky as that fireball. But fair enough. Helps put him the cosh, doesn't he? Look at that. He gets, he gets a Kaz out of it anyway. Gets a Kaz out. And now the apple comes in, but doesn't work. So there you go. Nice job saving the apple, mate. Saved it for the perm. And it didn't work. I mean... Somebody a bit harsher than me might say that was absolute justice for not appoing a 76 SPB bull, you fucking lunatic. But, you know, not me, of course. <laughs> no, it might, it might have been AFK or, or misclick or something. I really hope he was AFK or misclick, because if he thought that wasn't a good idea to apple that, that was a real bad decision. Oh my god, his, his block dice have been terrible, to be fair. It, <laughs> this has been a proper Kill Bill game. No rerolls left for I Ravel. <laughs> no, no pals. <laughs> like, everybody activated and no pals, and then a skull. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What a turn. And like, what a half. He hasn't removed anybody with claw palm. He's had taken two guys, Kaz, his apples failed. Like, you know, whichever way that you look at it, it's been an absolute dicing. A comedy mega dicing. Worst dicing of the year ever. Probably ever. This would probably be the worst dicing ever if it had happened to Artemis. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's it's certainly... 
There's certainly been some horrific dice for iRavel, but I just don't know how you don't apple that that bull. But also, it's probably over anyway, even if he had appled the bull, right? Like this is so this is so stupid now. It's probably over anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is the <laughs> this is the semi-final, so it literally could never have happened to Artemis. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Hello, Sparky. Yeah, what the hell? I'm deleting a replay. What the hell? I'm bamboo I'm completely bamboozled at that. No offense or anything, but it's really weird. <laughs> It's so, like, I just couldn't believe it because I thought, I thought I'd wait to cover it so I could cover both semis at the same time, right? I thought I'll wait because it, it would been, it would happened a week before. So I thought, well, between Sparky and Daedle and Goblin Spy, one of them will have the replay, right? So went to Goblin Spy, doesn't work. Message Daedle, doesn't reply. Message Sparky, he's deleted the replay. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> How is there no replay file? So there you go. Very sad to not be able to cover the last ever semi-final. But there you go. Sparky, Sparky uh, won. And Daedle lost. Daedle may have overreacted a tiny little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit though. Oh. Lady Bits is gone. <laughs> it's it's lazy blitz, isn't it? And I always think I always think it's Lady Bits. <laughs> to be fair, Lady Bits would be a pretty funny name for a uh, impulse center or anybody really. Lady Bits is really funny, I think, yeah. But it never is, it's always Lazy Bits. Oh. Will he get the counter score? No. Maybe not, right? And if he doesn't get the counter score, he's still got to score on his own drive to win. So. Firevel can battle this out to a. Uh, no, no, he's got half a chance. <laughs> May, yeah, it was, it was a little joke, yes. Yeah, Daedal was, uh, was, yeah, really bad. <laughs> Oof. Oh, let's go. Oh, there's a chance then. There's a chance. He's just got to... Well, he's got to push... No, he's got to pow this one. And then push this one. Alright, so he's pow him. Oh, and then he can, then he can, oh, then he can push him into there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you can't use the space there. So we had to pow to get this guy in. But he's got it. He gets the push. So he should be up and away, shouldn't he? Eight times out of nine. Way hey, Chirgant. And that is pretty much GG, I'd say. Maybe, maybe the hobo can uh, can touch him on the sideline. Can the hobo touch him? Can't see. Oh my god! Yeah, the hobo can touch him, so... It's not over yet. Don't say it's over!
Kill Bill still got the bribe as well. Brutal. Take zero, zero removals to three full claw pommers. He's probably only taking about two pals. Oh, he doesn't get touched. He's, he's had about, he's had about two players knocked over. It feels like. <laughs> wow. I'd say has he used up all of his luck before the final, but it's Kill Bill, so we know he hasn't. It does, doesn't it, Tony? Yeah. Yep. Now there is some there is some equity, obviously, in like you know powering this guy, making cars, and one in twelve nine six to not score is is very very low odds. But um, it does happen sometimes. It happened to calcium, didn't it? Yeah, right, Demander? It's been crazy. It's been an absolute dicing. In fairness to Iravel, you know, there was only that that, that decision of the... Uh... I, I, I hated the Apple decision, but, you know... Apart from that, it's been an absolute comedy mega anyway. But Kill Bill played well. Like, he, he did play well even, like, without that, right? Even with uh, Iravel not getting the pals and stuff. Like he did a good job. He did a good job of defending. Went for a kind of high impact whiz, high risk, high reward. It didn't come off, but uh, all the Virevals players did. <laughs> Touched by a. I know it's all though. Did you know that uh, they changed the lyrics to uh, Here I Go Again on My Own from Hobo to Drifter, is it? Yeah. Because they thought Hobo sounded like Homo. <laughs> they didn't want to have it. <laughs> there you go. Did it not get him an extra block? Well. And did it expose the, the bull that ended up getting uh, removed? Maybe. And yeah, he didn't have to do anything fancy, did he? He just had to palm and inevitably win. Well, apart from the wizard. But I mean, he just couldn't palm because he couldn't knock anyone over. He just couldn't knock anyone over all game. It's pretty hard to win when you don't knock anybody over. <laughs> I've got no idea, Tony. I just know that little tidbit about... Uh, about here I go again. White snake on it. Is he going to get a knockdown? Yes. Pile on. Diced. There should be just enough guard for a kill build to crack this and then get a dirty play foul on that claw pommer, eh? <laughs> He's not going to crack the uh, LOS. One assist. Do you one assist foul? I guess you could dodge the uh, catcher off. You 
two assist foul. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, I mean they didn't need to. They chose to, Tony. They cho that is why they chose to. <laughs> That is genuinely why they chose to do it. <laughs> I don't think they they'd do it nowadays, would they? They wouldn't. But I guess then they just thought. I don't know what they thought, but they but they thought something and changed it. Nope. Can't pile on here. Can't knock down either. <laughs> I mean, t he's got the players, hasn't he? He's still got 11 players because he had a massive bench. And actually, his player quality, although, although I Ravel's player quality is much below what it was. It's still not that far behind Kill Bill's player quality. So it's actually not that bad for him. Imagine if he had another bull center. Oh no, I'm only. I can't. I can't mention it. It's, he could have misclicked. Or just made a bad decision. It's just one decision. Like, it's still been a dice. Powerling would have been real nice, wouldn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta do the three plus dodge. The big three pluses. Is this a. Uh, is this a hit on the ball? No, he's got a stand for him. Well, it could be a hit on the ball. Couldn't it? If he goes for a four plus dodge, if he, he could power him. And then he could just go for a four plus one. He? Oh, he hasn't got guard on the claw palm. Oh, he doesn't need it. He can do it that way. There we go. Four plus for a one D. Or he could he can one D that guy and then dodge him. And it's a three three, isn't it? A three three for a two D is better than a four. Is a three three for a two D better than a four for a two D? Probably. Can he run all the way around and get there? Mm. Just goes for the four plus two D. I wonder if three three was better. You know, try and power him, and then three plus him around. But I guess this way he's got more movement around. Really nice. Really nice. But then there's the 2D as well, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice getting that out for you, Really nice. Yeah, Kill Bill really expected like a power thing. Well, he, he's like he was out of position a bit, wasn't he? I guess making that foul and stuff. Oops, go. I mean, maxing blocks is what got him the turnover score in the first half, right? So, like, it's it's hard to go against it, but it looks like we could be going overtime here. Flip me. Flip me. Oh, well, I say that. He hasn't got a chorf here. There is a flip step on the ball. Can't get away this turn unless he dodges, right? Yeah, it kind of feels mean to mention it all the time. Oh, God, imagine being that ball. Oh, he just goes straight for the dodge. <sighs> Did 
disaster. Disaster. Just went straight for the dodge. I think he should have at least tried to power in. Oh, but I guess if he fails, he sidesteps here. But then so what? You just stay where you are, right? Hmm, don't know. Unsure. I guess 8 out of 9. But then you just get based again next turn, right? So, like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that dodge. Maybe he was going to score. <laughs> and that's pretty much GG. Wow, wow, wow. From probably being 1-1 one, one <laughs> and overtime to uh, almost certainly being 2-0. Unless there's a clever push player here. Which there isn't one that clever. Dodge double GFI? Oh shit! <laughs> Last reroll gone. And even if he defends the score, he's got a counter score, hasn't he? So. Oof. Well, that isn't how to do it. Oh my god. Fails. Don't say it's over. But um, it's pretty over, isn't it? Because this guy can just base, blitz, off, done. I think I might have... Uh, no, no, because you need two to get the wrestle. It would have been interesting trying to free up Tim to see if you could free up the wrestle Tim. But it doesn't matter, you don't even need to knock him over, you can sort of run around with the butter anyway, so. It just literally didn't matter. I like the reroll to win it. No rerolls for either side. But much harder for I Rebel. And is it Chorfs? Oh, I wonder if he'll have nightmares about that apple. <laughs> Because, you know, if you're Iron Rival, I don't know if you think you're better than Kill Bill or not, a Blood Bowl, but you know that Kill Bill isn't terrible, right? So, like, even if you think you're better, it's like, he, he you know, you know he's good, right? He's the defending champion in the semi. If you think his team's terrible, it's not that terrible, right? It's still, like, a high TV team. You still got all these inducements. And if you think your team is much better, part of your team being much better is the fact that you've got bulls. You know? So, oof. Yeah, that's a brutal miss next. Absolutely brutal miss next. That might have lost him the final. That might have lost him the final. Chorf's only removal, yeah. On turn bloody 15. That's crazy, isn't it? Their literal only removal on turn 15. A team with three Claw Pommers and three Mighty Blow Guard Stand Firm. Block Tackle. 
Their only removal came turn 15. That is unbelievable. Just unbelievable. <laughs> The other chores are decent, but not as good as these chores. These are my pick to win the uh, tournament, these chores. From pretty much day one, because they're like, you know, they like it, Chris. He appled the Blitzer, but it failed. He's, he had two apples. He had, so it looks like he hasn't, I guess, but he had two apples. I mean, retroactively, it's the most important removal. I think I think the bull was the most important removal. <laughs> the bull and the lack of apple, I think, was the most important. But yeah, obviously, as it's happened with the final result, and uh, it wouldn't really matter if all of the chops were dead, would it? <laughs> now. <laughs> Kills him, just random death on turn 16, wonderful. The bad thing about doing that is it reminds Aravel that he can just pointlessly foul you on turn 16, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Surely there's more of this. Uh, no, no etiquette at all, it's in the name at least, because at the end of the day, right, like, if you don't foul, then you're helping him, and if you do foul, you're helping his opponent, right, so, like, it's a wash, it doesn't matter, like, it, it really doesn't matter, right, one way or the other, because his opponent could be like, oh, how dare you not kick and foul until the final whistle, and then he could be like, well, how dare you foul me when the game's lost? So, like, it just it literally doesn't matter either, either way. So, there you go. Um, 12 AV breaks. <laughs> One cast sustained. No KOs. <laughs> Only 50 blocks. Um, just unbelievable. Absolute comedy mega dicing. Congratulations, Kill Bill. Commiserations, I Revel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.